Yeah, but like I was just saying, I do want to do a live stream where I'm just freely talking about the seven albums that I reviewed, along with the way that I review an album, because it is sort of unlike the traditional sense of rating it out of a 10. So let's start with that, I think, because that's an important thing to talk about that I haven't really voiced on the channel yet. But so the way that I am reviewing these albums, I'm viewing it from a from a perspective of being as useful as possible. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> and by that, I mean, instead of rating an album out of 10, which means absolutely nothing to me or you, say somebody gives an album four out of 10, what does that mean? You just have a rough idea of that being, oh, that's an okay album, right? But that's, that doesn't really tell me a whole lot about the songs. It doesn't tell me a whole lot about the quality of the album other than, oh, it's kind of mediocre. A four sounds kind of mediocre, right? But I'm reviewing that a little differently. So when I say four out of 10 in one of my reviews, what I really mean is four out of 10 of those tracks are the only tracks that I think are really, really worth returning to often or just in general listening to. So that's the difference. That's the, the simplest way to, to put that. So then if there are, let's say, hypothetically 12 albums, sorry, not 12 albums, 12 songs on an LP, and I give that album 10 out of 12, that means 10 tracks out of those 12 are really worth coming back to and re-listening to um, following a first listen. 